You know, you can see a lot from from just looking at the whiskey. First, obviously, we've talked about how it sticks to the glass and how that might mm -hmm. come across in your in your mouth, but just the colour there from that extra seven years in the cask, and mm -hmm. and probably more importantly, it's a reflection of the the different mix of cast. The fact we've got more of the first fill sherry mm -hmm. cask in there too. And the smaller cask as well, so there's more contact, so it would give you a darker colour. And so on the nose, it's already it's quite a different creature. Mm -hmm. There's much more kind of heavier fruits coming through, like prunes and raisins. The same flavours are there, but they're just more concentrated. Yeah. They're they're richer, they're rounder. In the mouth, it's it's just fuller and richer, and it mm -hmm. clings to teeth a bit more. And yeah, there's much more mouthfeel. It's much longer. But a Christmas cake type of mm -hmm, kind of Christmas pudding kind of flavours coming through. Vanilla, honey, dark fruits. How would you say this rates for you? I would say it's my favourite. Yeah, this is the one I would I would go to if I was drinking Glen Coyne. This is my dram. Should we try it with a little bit of water? See what that would, would go on, do? Go on then. It's changed it again, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Sweeter? I would say a little bit sweeter, yeah. That fruitiness has really come apparent by adding more water in. The pear drops comes back into, you know, from... I think pear is probably the one thing that I would get the most. I've never actually noticed that before, but no, yeah. But it's, it's the sort of thing that 17 years ago, Duncan would have smelt coming from the spirit safe mm -hmm. as he made the dram. You know, it's this slow distillation. It's the it's the, the, the copper attracting all the acids and the and the sugars to mix together and create those esters. And, and all these years later, after so many years in the cask, just that little splash of water brings yeah. that back out to the fore again. It's for me what makes 17 or such a great dram. It's a real dram of the place. I mean, it's a Glengoyne in a glass, I suppose. Yeah.